Hey, my single fire signs, and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me as I'm doing your weekend love reading. This is for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you who are single, um, that's if you're not waiting for anybody, you're not um, in separation from anybody, you're just super single and ready to mingle. We'll get started right away here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius will be the order of reading. I don't know why so many of them are all jacked up. So, uh, okay, I apologize. I got to get my cards here in order. I don't know how that happened. I just finished a different reading. Okay. Okay, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo for the weekend for our single fire signs. All right, Aries, straight out the gate. You got the Ace of Chalices. Leo, you guys have the Empress in reverse. And Sagittarius, the Emperor in reverse. You guys, this overall um, energy of the reading is the Queen of Wands. Hello, fire signs. Sexy, seductive, looking hot, and going out and having a good time. That is an awesome card for a single fire sign. Okay. So, um, Aries, you guys are going out and looking for love. Um, you guys could be, uh, taking somebody home tonight. <laughs> yeah. If you're a, a fire sign male, uh, you could be, uh, meeting up with a fire sign female. Um, if you are a fire sign female, you could most definitely be connecting with the one the universe has put you in your path for. All right, let's get some clarifiers here. Sad or sad, fire sign males, you guys have the two of wands. Females, you guys have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So, um, for you fire sign males, um, you guys have the two of wands. So you guys have, a, a path to pick this weekend. You are being, uh, given two choices and you are going to pick the one that is just lighting the night on fire. Uh, I do see you pick, I do see you being with another fire sign this weekend. Um, I don't, however, see it lasting long. So take that however you want. Um, Aries females. Uh, yeah, you're coming out of a cycle of bad luck. You're coming out of a karmic cycle where you are on the downside of the wheel. However, um, it is in the reverse right here, but, um, I do see this flipping in the upright with the new moon tonight. Um, so I do feel by tomorrow, you're going to be, um, moving into a new cycle and I do feel you're meeting the one this weekend for this person, for this group of you. Um, some of you, uh, it's not going to happen this weekend, but, um, within the next month, within the next four weeks for this group of you, um, yeah, yeah, you had to Aries females. Um, the reason why your wheel was in reverse was because you were having a hard time walking away from a past connection, but I do see you walking away and releasing in this new moon. And then this wheel will come into, uh, in the upright and you will be moving on to a love unlike any other you've had is what my angel just said. So yay. Um, I'm not going to take that because I didn't call for it yet. Um, Leo, you guys have the Empress in reverse with the, um, with the Queen of Wands. So you guys are feeling, uh, very confident, very, um, very beautiful, very charming. People are drawn to you, but you, um, the one person that you want, it seems like they're not moving towards you. This, this relationship isn't getting off the ground and, and you're questioning why here, Leo males. Yeah, because right now they want to they want to remain single. They <clears throat> this is a Taurus energy. 
So if you're a Leo dealing with a Taurus female, um, cause both these cards signify Taurus, very heavy energy. Um, and they probably have fire in their chart somewhere, but, um, it doesn't have to be Taurus. So don't get hung up on that. But with, um, the nine of pentacles, they're not ready to commit yet. It took them a long time to get to this, um, to this level of vibration. They've worked very hard in healing and they're not quite ready to um, start something new, but they will be. Yeah. And the next three to nine weeks is when um, I see this person being ready to commit Leo males. That doesn't mean you can't have fun until then, though, with this person. I do see you guys are like talking, spending time together, but they're not wanting to commit to a uh, relationship just yet. Leo females. All right. Okay. So, yeah, you guys are, um, something isn't, something's coming to an end for you. Um, you're no longer wanting to, uh, be a part of somebody's third party. You know, you deserve more than that. Leo females, you know, that you are just the bomb.com and you're no longer putting up with being the mistress. I see you were the third party in this. Um, this could possibly have been with an earth sign, but, um, you're sending them a message, letting them know that you're no longer, um, you're no longer going to be that person you, because you realize that being, um, in that position could bring bad karma, but you also are dealing with karma and it's on the upswing for you. Um, this is the judgment card, um, in most decks, but this person is going to come back to you once they figure out what it is that they want, because this is a relationship that is destined to happen. So, you know, you're single right now and you're no longer going to put up with being that third party, but by you doing this, by you standing your ground and ending this affair, um, the judgment is going to work in your favor. Um, but when you send this message, you have to truly mean it, that you're moving on. And then this person will return to you when, um, they, when they end whatever it is that their, uh, their karmic lesson that they're dealing with, as soon as they, uh, learn that karmic lesson, they will be coming back because this is, uh, guided by the universe. This is a divine partnership for this group of Leo females. So just keep vibrating at that beautiful level that you are because you are in a very high vibration. Um, and especially once you end that, it's you're you're going to be um, in a very high um, vibrating level. All right, Saggies, you guys have the Emperor in reverse. So you're walking away, um, could possibly be an Aries, but you're walking away from another fire sign or somebody, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, somebody that was kind of controlling, kind of um, how to tell you what, when, where, why, how to feel, who's your friends are. Um, you're getting out of that, uh, that relationship because in this time of healing that you've been taking and working on yourself, working on you, um, you're no longer, uh, that's no longer jive in with you. Sad you females. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Um, Saggy males, you guys are going to, um, offer your heart to somebody. You're going to open up and offer your heart to another fire sign. You're hoping that they're going to take you up on this. Let me see what, what we got here. Wow. King of wands. You're going to offer this cup to another fire sign and they are more than happy and willing to accept um, you guys will be, this is like a soulmate feeling relationship because when the same suit of king and queen come out in uh, the same reading for me, it doesn't matter what suit they are, but if they come together, that's the highest vibrating uh, frequency you can get. And that to me is a soulmate connection in some way or form. So you're going to offer your love to this person because you're kind of lost without them. Um, this is somebody that you have 
possibly been in a relationship with before, but not necessarily. Um, but not having them in your life kind of um, flips your whole world up in the air. But you are going to make this offer to this other fire sign, and they will accept this weekend. Saggy females, you have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Damn, you are looking good. Um, you are going into a time of self-love. You're um, healing from uh, somebody in the past that was manipulative, um, controlling, uh, just not good for you. Not saying they're not a good person. I'm just saying they weren't good for you. You guys were not um, jiving well together. But this is the creation of something new. Um, you're going to begin to... Um, this is self-love for me. Um, sometimes this card is one about new beginnings, birthing of ideas. Sometimes I see it as a mistress. But um, this is you standing your ground against... This person could have Aries in their moon or rising. Um, but you're taking a stand and letting them know... If you ever want to date me, if you ever want to be with me, these are my boundaries. These are my standards. Um, if you can't meet the requirements, there's the door. And this is going to create a beautiful uh, foundation to start something new on. This is also the, per you have a person coming in for you, Saggy Females, that uh, is going to help you get something off the ground. Yeah, because you've taken a lot of time to think about this, girls. Um, you have become, in the time of healing, during the hanging, hanged man, you had a lot of time to think about this, and you were enlightened to what this connection really was, and, and you walked away from it. And in that, you're going to have a new beginning, the ability to create something new with somebody. And yeah, within the next three weeks, um, you're going to come into a committed relationship to where you can manifest anything, whatever you want, um, you will have success in. You guys are, you guys are looking good. All fire signs are looking good this weekend. All right, let me pull you guys a angel card. What do our fire sign singles have this weekend for them? Wow. Okay. So you guys have your first card out was engagement. Um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, I do see this in the future for you guys. A lot of you are meeting the people that you will um, go to a next level with. Uh, some of you could be getting engaged this weekend, but I don't really see that because this is uh, for singles for one. But, um, for some of you, like your love life is ascending to a higher level because you're finally getting out of a time where you've been hurt and wounded and you weren't looking for love. You didn't want to go out looking for love. And now you are. So you've ascended to the next level of your healing. And now you're ready to go look for love is what I see for the majority of you with that card. <clears throat> um, the next card out was passion. Allow your heart to sing, um, with joy. So with this card, this is just saying have passion in everything you do. Allow your heart to feel again because some of you guys have been comfortably numb for a long time due to hurt in the past. And it's now time to let your heart and soul sing. Um, be passionate about everything you do. Allow your heart to feel um, the joy that you will have coming into your life very soon. And last um, is express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So if there's somebody that you're thinking about, if there's somebody that you um, haven't been in a relationship with before and you're nervous to approach them, go ahead and and make the romantic gesture because that one thing you're scared to say could be the one thing they're waiting for you to uh, ask. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You guys are going to have an amazing weekend um, with the new moon in Virgo tonight. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful time to, um, do a release ritual to clear out your energy and to set your intentions for what you are wanting to manifest because fire signs, you got big, 
big relationships coming in for those of you who are 100% single. So I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. And um, thank you for joining me on my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. And I love you guys. See you later.